for that and just went to bed. But when I opened the door from the bedroom, the whole house had the windows open and uh, it was just obvious. It was just fantastic. Uh, yeah. Well, really, you're waking really up really to nice. that this morning. Well it's done. Beautiful. Head on out for the morning hours. Mostly clear. I think we'll have a great sunrise this morning. Just a couple of mid and high clouds out there. WLWT radar showing any of the showers are comfortably off to the south. We do have the front in southern Kentucky, the cold front from yesterday for us. In southern Kentucky, still with showers, but in the tri state, we are completely dry. Here's the radar estimated totals over the last 24 hours. Just wanted to indicate that Friday night and Saturday morning, pretty good amount of rain across central Indiana. Last evening and into the overnight, pretty good amount of rain in southeastern Kentucky. We were kind of the in between, did not see a lot across the tri state for us. Some waning storms Friday night to yesterday morning did bring some activity, but that was kind of the extent of it. Yesterday afternoon, not much for measurable rainfall, although we did have a couple of sprinkles and passing showers. Temperatures even within the metros are sitting in the upper 50s for spots, sitting at 58 right now for College Hill, 59 in Taylor Mill, 59 for Addison. So we do have those com that comfortable air across the entire region under mostly clear skies dropping back quickly. 63 currently, the dew point at 59 in the comfortable range. Humidity 87% to northeast wind at 3 miles an hour. At the International Airport, the visibility 10 miles, but we do have some spots down around 3 and 4 miles, and there may be some isolated fog out there. The last observation had about 3 and 4, but now Lunkin looks like it has dropped off to just less than a mile. So we could see some patchy, dense fog for the morning. I think it's going to be fairly reserved and not widespread. 63, the current temperature. 50s are just to the north for Fort Wayne, or at least low 50s. 59 in Chicago. That cooler air from the Great Lakes is working its way in. It's cooler and drier, and we are setting up for a really nice Sunday across the entire region. That departing cold front still evident on the satellite and radar, sinking to our southeast. And notice as we look north across the Great Lakes and Northern Plains, nothing to push in for a couple of days. So a very enjoyable setup today and lasting into tomorrow. I think we have upper 70s for highs this afternoon. Tomorrow, we edge up just a touch. We'll top out likely around 80 degrees for Monday. There is some moisture being held up to our east, and I think it may represent a few more clouds around tomorrow, especially the farther east you're on the tri-state. But in general, lots of sunshine for today, tomorrow, and still Tuesday, partly cloudy and dry. I think we reintroduce our thunderstorms on Wednesday. We'll top out today at 78 degrees, a pleasant Sunday with a light northeast wind. Tonight we drop off to 53. Keep the windows open through tomorrow. High on Monday of 80. A little bit warmer on Tuesday. We're into the low 80s at 83. Partly cloudy skies by Wednesday. Dry during the daytime. I think it's probably late in the day. A cold front approaching. Could be a chance for some strong or maybe even severe weather Wednesday night into Thursday with that front. Looks like widespread storms Thursday along the cold front. and.